Nobody fucks with a man's dog. <laughs> so yeah, Bruce Willis made another movie. Yeah! So in Once Upon a Time in Venice, Bruce Willis plays a private detective. He, the only private detective in Venice. Or in LA. In Venice. Anyways. He's not only good in private investigation, he's also a good skateboarder. And every day he teaches the young fellers there at Venice Beats how to skate and he tells him stories about life and how depressive he is. A 40 plus year old bold guy who is not so good with his job and not so successful. Reminds me a lot of El Bundy. But one day the most shocking thing happens. His house or the house from his sister and his niece it's been rubbed out and in the beginning Bruce Willis thinks okay it's just, it's only material things you know it's only a TV and some mm, and subwoofers we can buy that but then the niece says they also kidnap buddy <laughs> my dog I kill him all and then he goes on a rampage and not really a rampage on on his private investigation thing and to find out where his beloved dog Buddy is. I don't want to spoil a lot of the story because from point A to point B he goes to point C and point D so it's it's a very very it's two or three cases involved in all of that searching for Buddy. So I don't want to spoil anything because then it will take the fun of the movie so just check it out. <laughs> so my poor Bruce Willis this movie uh, it only came out on video on demand and streaming and it has not a cinema release so it's a shame because the movie is it's really good it's a black humor comedy action investigation movie and I, I really enjoyed it and it has also good cast so John Goodman plays a character who owns a surfboard store and he sells surf and things you need for surfing and also Jason Moore was in the movie and Jason Moore was Amazingly funny, and I didn't recognize them. At least, if I wouldn't see his tattoos on his arm, I wouldn't recognize him. He plays so fantastic Spider, the Latino drug dealer with his big mustache and the big bandana. He was fantastic. He, he, he eats in muffins. Where's your dog? Uh, Juan, or what the fuck? He was in there. He was fantastic. So I love Fidesz Momoa. He was fantastic. So pretty, pretty good cast. And John Goodman also he plays it, and also he was uh, he plays a divorced character, very depressed. But now with a case with the uh, with the dog, and Bruce Willis say, "Hey, buddy, you want to help me find my dog and save the world?" I don't know. <laughs> he says, "Okay, I yeah, enjoyed it." So uh, John Goodman reminds me a little bit of the more funnier and stupider version or uh, in Big Lebowski not the ah good y'all I'm the one who cares about roots <laughs> oh, it's so Big Lebowski super. so in the end Once Upon a Time in Venice is a beautiful mm, nice little movie about a private investigation and all that glamour that LA has to offer and everyone goes there to become big stars and superstars and then you see the real version of LA and it isn't so. You could stream it or find it on Blu-ray, buy it or rent it anyways. Just check out the movie, it's, it's pretty fantastic and Bruce Willis is really good. After many, many movies, finally he did again great job because I liked here, I liked here the movie because Bruce Willis is self-aware, he's old, can I play the action star all the time. Yeah, it was funny. It was old, grumpy. And he just wanna get his dog back. <laughs> and funny is, if you see the movie where Stallone, nah, Stallone <laughs> where Bruce Willis stands here with this with his weapon hold stand uh, under the posters of Buddy, I thought, hey you die hard movie <laughs> Wow, die hard movie with dogs? Ah <laughs> Don't be afraid, it's not a sequel to Top Dog. It's it's uh, a totally different movie. But check it out. If you like Bruce Willis, you must check it out. So that was my review for Once Upon a Time in Venice. Have you seen it? And what's your favorite movie with dogs? <laughs> Not Hatsiko. Or Dog's Purpose. No. I don't like dog movies. So thank you for watching. <laughs> so long. Good night.